So I think this just happened. I got a free room because apparently I think I'm the only one traveling towards Fort William. I mean, I'm traveling to Korea, but that's a nice upgrade. So obviously here comes an obligatory um, review of the Caledonian Sleeper. It's very fucking nice. I'm not gonna lie. And I've read on the booklets that they're upgrading their fleet. But yeah, if you buy the tickets, which is um, for bunk bed, um, unless you're a couple, then you're gonna be sharing it with someone else, unless it happens right now that there's absolutely no one traveling, almost no one. The thing is in here, you can turn off the main light. Um, you also do get a sink apparently. There's um, some of the, the yellow bag here. In the cabin here, you get maximum three amps. So three USBs are three amps, and then one of them is 2.1 amps. But yeah, you do also get these, these tables here, which you can pull down, very nice. Um, you get, I bet, I bet you it's Scottish water. Let me read on it. Oh, still Scottish spring water. To be expected. You also have some rubbish there. I mean, you can throw your rubbish, rubbish there. Beds are actually quite comfy and you get two pillows each. You do have your temperature control. You can call the attendant, which is, I think, one per coach. timetables I would have done the typical train spotting shot because it's not that bad you can just walk there and put a driver on um, yeah I did get the, the train going shot <sighs> okay I'm gonna sleep better and it departed so what's the next one Corolla 859x probably means something related to the request stop yeah there we go 11.21, so that's going all that's going to Fort William and then places and further more Logan. So obviously there's no Caledonian service on Sundays. I'm not prepared for this. I literally just woke up like an hour ago. And we're seeing the highlands and that. Absolutely not fucking prepared for this. Station house is closed. It's fuck all open. <laughs> So this is literally the only building for like miles on end that's functional, there's, there's, like there's people in it. It's closed. I mean, yes, I understand the railway policy thing applies to all of Britain, I mean, all of uh, the UK. Almost fuck all trains a day and it's not even electrified. What's it gonna do to me? <laughs> and plus, I've got to cross it to get to the other bloody side. So I don't know what the hell do you mean by trespassing? I've consulted my good old friendly Google Maps before it goes bust because it will probably be like, oh no. Well, you can't load what you had before because um, you don't have offline maps downloading. So I'm just going to walk to Black Ocean.
sun will rise from there and then go all the way across the sky, so like that, and kind of go somewhere there. But the thing is, it doesn't go across the top. There's a deer at that lodge. I think they're actually called elks or something, like E-L-K, because they've got like huge uh, horns and spikes and shit. That behind me just doesn't look magnificent as I want it to. So, I'm taking a picture of this. I see there's a bit of light behind these, these, this forest here. So it should be pretty decent. Now open that up. This is not help. This is not helping out. So this is, this is what I'm in between framing. I think I'll just go for the original idea of getting that island, getting a photograph of that with the light behind it on the, the hill, the mount at the back. I don't know, that one doesn't really attract me. That one's kind of cool because it goes up and that. This one's kind of just a dump. But I have to move the camera like some, somewhere there. Yes. That, that looks so much better. So now we do have a nice reflection on the water. So now comes the metering part. Considering it's ISO 100, probably gonna be like a fifth of a second. So I don't fancy doing like amazing metering because you know, an expensive meter gives you a great picture. Just using my phone. Phone's fine. So that's only one fifteenth or one thirtieth. I'll say 1 15th because think about it. Film, if you overexpose it, especially color negative, you still get a lot of detail. That light has been there for about an hour now. So we're ready? Three, two, one. How was that? There we go, that went. So this is the place. Should be about an hour and a bit of walk to the lake where I want to get to. It's a good reference point in a way. I'm at lake, whatever. The station house is closed until March 2018. I think when I get back, probably just uh, get the six o'clock train to another station and then get the sleeper from there. But obviously at the other station, they might have a bit more facilities like I don't know, restaurants or something like that. And yeah, so I don't stay in the dark here forever. Well, there's lights, but it's a few hours of waiting. up here. I think I might have to shout, but this overlooks Loch Trig. And then you've got this mountain range in that direction. Um, and it's just gorgeous. I wish the light would have been better, but uh, yeah. So I think I've got two potential shots here. I think the sun came up a bit more. So now the end of the lake over there is lit up nicely, um, which is one of the, the shots I want. And then here, this this whole thing, um, coast area with them rocks, it rocks. So these two shots will definitely go in the bag, literally. Um, I can't set up 
the camera on the tripod, as in 6D, because I fear when I'm not next to it, and why is this changing exposure so much? Um, I fear that it will tip over. So I did manage to set up the camera, okay? And since it's far away and it's windy, I'm doing F8. Good sharp enough at F8. Uh, and 1 125th of a second, I'm going to do a long version at F that. It's just blowing with the wind here. Non stop limitations. I did shoot two exposures. One of them is on A2, one of them is on B1. It's the same place, but look at that. That tiny bit of sun. It takes so much to set them up, it's crazy. And it's just annoying now that I didn't get the sun on both sides and I didn't get it full. I got it as a snapshot earlier with a 60 because I had it hanging around my neck, so I just I just took it in case of anything it goes bad. How I even took that video on my phone, but that's not the same thing. So the shot I just took of these uh, rocky cliffs here was at one second of 22 I saw 100, just one shot. Um, can't go some more. Plus, the sun looks really cool on that side. So I might, I might just go up the hill and see what's up um, because I don't want to miss on that side now. I should probably do this on black and white as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah I'll do this on black and white as well, but I need to knock them down first. Okay, so that's where I left from. Those trees over there. But look. Yes, a lonely tree. Interesting, right? Um, I will be taking a picture of this. I'm not letting it go. Uh -uh. Actually, two. One black and white, one color, because it works both ways. And, you know, just safety shots, black and white safety shot, whatever works. Dark slide is out, which means... Three, two, one. Great. That was one eighth of a second. That's F8. Because uh, I don't need extreme depth of field in that. So I've done that. No black and white one, as usual. And I'm heading back. Thank you. 